anatomy of the extensor indices muscle. It is part of the extensor dorsal compartment of the forearm. The extensor indices origin is deep to the EDC, which is the extensor digitorum. It originates from the posterior surface of the ulna and the interosseous membrane. It inserts into the extensor expansion of the index finger. The extensor indices is deep and ulnar to the extensor digitorum muscle. The extensor indices muscle belly extends most distally. It has the most distal muscle belly of the fourth dorsal extensor compartment, which is very helpful in identification of this muscle when laceration occurs involving multiple tendons. This muscle is present in the fourth dorsal compartment of the wrist. There is a cross section showing all the six compartments and the different contents of each compartment. The extensor indices tendon is honor to the extensor digitorum tendon. The innervation of the extensor indices is by the posterior interosseous nerve, which is part of the radian nerve. Function. It helps to extend the index finger and helps to extend the wrist. How do you examine the extensor indices muscle? It is examined by having the patient make a fist and then extend the index finger. So the index finger have two tendons that extend that finger. One is the extensor indices, which is ulnar to the slip that comes from the extensor digitorum. So we have two tendons for the index finger. I don't know if that is a coincidence or a deliberate act, but we can borrow one of the tendons to the thumb. That's why the extensor indices is sometimes transferred surgically to replace a torn extensor pollicis longus tendon. The extensor pollicis longus tendon sometimes is ruptured when you have a distal radial fracture, especially when the fracture is non-displaced. So the patient will have a cast, fracture is not bad, and the patient cannot extend the thumb the patient ruptured the extensor pollicis longus tendon. A repair will not be helpful. Tendon transfer is necessary. So where do I get the tendon? I get the tendon from the one that have a spare tendon from the extensor indices. When you do that transfer, section the extensor indices proximal to the sagittal hood. So you can maintain the independent extension of the index finger. The extensor indices transfer will give a predictable outcome. The extensor indices transfer is contraindicated rheumatoid arthritis. The extensor digitorum to the index finger may have ruptured, and in this case, do not do extensor indices transfer because the patient depend on the extensor indices to extend the index. Another case of tendon transfer when we use extensor indices is median nerve injury where we do extensor indices opponent plasty. Another spare tendon that can go to the thumb. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.